Today I'm going to show you how to create a screen flow to dynamically show pick lists based on the record type. So in this case we're going to be doing it with a case. So I'll just show you an object. So if we go to the support record type and we go to type, the main difference I made for this is known issue as an option here for selected values. And if we go to just the regular email, record type, you'll see known issue is not in there. So obviously this works fine from the case directly. So say if you create a new case, email, and the type you see known issue is not here. And if you try to create one that's support, you'll see known issues there. So this works fine from natively, but from within a Salesforce flow, it's a little different. So I'll show you how that's done. So the first step is to create a variable. So create a new variable and the type is record and the object is case in this example that we're doing. So that's the first step you need to do. And within this, I go through this subflow in another video, but I have this looking for the support record type here. So I can grab the ID of that and I store that in a variable down here, record type support case. So for this to work, you just have to get a case. It honestly doesn't matter which one. So I just grab the most recent one based on created date. I just need that to use it later in the flow. And here's the key part of this. So this is the variable we created earlier, case records. So we're setting the ID to be this. And honestly, this doesn't really matter that much. It's the main thing is it just needs this. It's the most recent case ID. And then the, this is the key part. So the case record we're setting the record type ID to the type of record type that we want to sort the pick list by. So this case would be support. And the last step is a screen. So what's different here, all these are set up the same way. So here's our case record variable that we created. And then we can add basically any of these. So that's how I added these so I can Let's say, let's just add these case type here. So how that would work. So this would be dynamic based on the record type. Basically any of these, honestly. And how you would set these on the case later is you would on the create or update or however you're going to do this is you would go to the case record. So case record and basically all of the fields that were done earlier on that previous screen you would select. So that's how you would pass that information along. So the same thing for case type, subject, product, and origin. So all we need to do now is debug this. And I'll show you how it works. So this is the, if we look up here a little further, so we found the most record, most recent case. We're assigning it to the record type ID, which is this support. So this should so so. So this should show a non-issue here, which it is. So if we test this out, case origin product type is non-issue. And I have this setting up to automatically to forward to the record, but it doesn't work in debug only when you run it live. So we'll just open this manually this time. So here's our case. So here's non-issue product, everything, the subject, 
got put in as test case and everything is working well. So that's how you do that with a dynamic quick list or basically anything that you set up with this record variable. Anything in here would be dynamic because it's based on the record type we set earlier, which is right before this step. So that's how that works. Let me know if you have any questions. See ya.